I wonder how we feel when things are not going right for us. When it feels as if everything has gone wrong. I wonder how we react to situations like that and what it makes us want to do. We're going to look at a story today of a man called Elijah who had that very experience. And this story from the Bible is going to help us as we think about how we can be strong people and how we can keep going, how we can be resilient when things are not going to plan. Let's watch this story together and then we're going to explore it afterwards. Stories of the Bible, Elijah in the Wilderness. This is Elijah. Hello. Elijah was a prophet in Israel during the reign of King Ahab. This is King Ahab. Eh, whatever. He came from a line of kings who did bad things, but King Ahab was the worst of them all. King Ahab and his wife Jezebel stopped following God and worshipped a fake god called Baal. Elijah's job was to tell the people of Israel and King Ahab to stop worshipping Baal and to worship God again. But King Ahab and Jezebel didn't like what Elijah had to say or that he proved to everyone that God was more powerful than any other god. Elijah made Jezebel so angry that she wanted to kill him. She sent him a message saying, May the gods strike me and even kill me if by this time tomorrow I have not killed you. Uh, uh -oh. Elijah was terrified and ran away. <gasps> He went to a town and he left his servant there. Go on. Then he went on alone into the wilderness. He sat down under a tree and prayed that he might die. He said, I have had enough, Lord. Then he lay down and fell asleep. But as he was sleeping, an angel touched him and told him, Hi. Get up and eat. He looked around and there beside his head, was some bread baked on hot stones and a jar of water. Whoa! So he ate and drank and then laid down again. The angel of the Lord came again and touched him and again said, Oh, get up and eat some more or the journey ahead will be too much for you. So he did and it gave him the strength to get up and continue on his way to a place called Mount Sinai. Later, Elijah would do what God wanted him to and would tell the people of Israel to follow God again. So in our story, what was it that Elijah was struggling with? Have a look at this picture and see what you think is going on in the picture. There's a young boy at the front, and it looks like he's being unkind to the girl that's kneeling underneath him. And there are two girls in the background watching. I wonder how the girl on the ground might be feeling. Might she be angry? Might she be feeling sad? Might she be feeling powerless? as she has to deal with this bullying that's happening. And the two girls in the background, maybe they're wondering what they can do to help. Maybe they're feeling cross as well. We know what they should do. They should go and find a teacher, go and find an adult who can help to sort this situation out. But things don't always go to plan, do they? And that's how it felt for Elijah. 
he felt like there was no one he could talk to that would help him. He was speaking to so many different people and trying to help them to understand how to live their lives in a good way. But instead, he was surrounded by people like King Ahaz, who were doing the wrong thing, who were being bad people. And it made him feel powerless and cross and sad. Not only that, but he was trying to talk to everybody to help them to succeed in life. But they were ignoring him and it felt like he wasn't being listened to. I wonder if you've ever experienced a time in your life where it's felt like you're not being listened to, when you've got something important that you're trying to say. Again, perhaps you feel cross or sad or powerless when you're in that situation. Maybe, like Elijah, it makes you feel alone. Elijah felt that he was the only person that was going in the right direction and everyone else was just ignoring him. What a, an awful thing it must have been for him to feel alone. Well, what was the effect on Elijah of being in this situation? We're told that he went into the desert and he fell asleep under the tree. Sometimes when things are happening to us and we can't control them and it feels like they're bad things, it makes us feel more tired than we normally would. Perhaps you've experienced that over this last year. Maybe you've had the opposite. Maybe you've gone to bed at night and you've found it very, very difficult to go to sleep because the things that have been in your head have made you feel like staying awake because you're worrying about them or you're anxious and that makes you even more tired. Elijah had an experience that was deeper than just feeling tired. We might say that he was feeling depressed. He was frightened and anxious. He wanted to run away and we're told that he didn't actually want to be around people at all. He said to God, I have had enough. And he wanted to run away and be by himself. Being by himself wasn't going to make him feel any better. He'd still be carrying the feelings of not being listened to. Of being bullied. Of feeling alone because no one else was with him in the difficulties that he was facing. So how was Elijah going to get himself out of this mess? Well, we're told that God helped him. And maybe that's the starting point, that actually we can't help ourselves sometimes. We need help from other people. And some of that help was very basic. He was given something healthy to eat. We can feel even more grumpy when we're tired and hungry. So eating a good meal can help us when we feel as if everything's going wrong. Eating the right food can make us feel full of life and full of energy. So that was the first thing that Elijah was given it was a good a good meal and something to drink. We're also told that he slept and sometimes when we're grumpy and when it feels like the world has gone wrong, it's because we're incredibly tired. And if only we can have a good sleep, we can make ourselves feel a little better when we wake up and we start to look at the world in a different way. Even if everything is the same and it hasn't changed, actually having a snooze, having a, a good sleep can top up our batteries and make us feel better. But the thing above everything else 
that helped Elijah was that when he ran away into the desert, God, first of all, provided an angel, a special messenger to be with him. And then we're not told in the story of the video, but we are told in the Bible that Elijah went and hid in a cave. And it was whilst he was in the cave and it felt like he was experiencing an earthquake and a strong wind and a roaring fire that would burn him up. It's when he was at, at his lowest point that Elijah finally stopped. And as he stopped and in the quietness, he knew that God was listening to him. He no longer felt alone. He knew that he'd done the right thing and that he was living the right way. And he felt that he was given the strength to keep doing that. The words on the screen say that people start to heal the moment that they feel heard. And if we are experiencing difficult times in our lives, as well as having good rest, as well as having proper food, as well as going out for a walk and having some exercise, the most important thing that we need is each other. To know that our friends, our family, our teachers are there for us. And sometimes when we don't feel strong, we can get our strength from the people around us as they love us and encourage us and support us. Sometimes when we don't feel strong, when we feel as if we're going to break, it's the people around us that can reassure us that we've got the strength to carry on. So as we think about how we cope with difficult things in our lives, perhaps the most important thing that we can do is be there for one another and listen. I'm going to have a song now that hopefully is nice and energetic and maybe you'll even join in with the actions. And it reminds us that we can wake up and share how we feel with one another.
pray as we finish. Lord God, in those times when we feel as if everything is going wrong and we need to find strength from somewhere else, would you help us to do the right things that will help us to recover? And would you surround us with good friends that can help us? But most of all, Lord, would you be there with us as well? Help us to know that you love us, that you have good plans for each and every one of us, and that you will make sure that we never break because you will give us the strength and the people around that we need to help us. Amen.